Hey you all, long time no see. So today we are going to be reviewing the Beauty Bay in Nikki Tutorials palette. I'm so excited to review this palette. If you have not seen it, this is what it looks like. Try not to blind you with it either mirror. This is what it looks like up close. I've noticed not a lot of people have been showing you up close shots, so here's an up close shot of the palette. So you have the brighter, more light and airy side. And then on this side you have the more dark and mysterious side. So I am going to be playing with this today. But first, we are just going to prime the eyelids. So let's do that. As always, I'm just going to use the P. Louise base. My dog is in the background just hanging out um, like he always is. Just going to prime the eyes. I'm in a new setup. I'm in an actual new place in general. So... Excuse me if I'm like a little bit trying to figure out the setup and everything still, but I am working on it, so I hope that the quality isn't too horrible, but it may be just until I start to really get used to filming here in the way that it's set up right now. So just blending out that people use base. I'm in the shade 0.5 because I like it to be almost white. Yeah. So, um, I think I'm going to do two reviews on this. I'm going to do a neutral look first, and then I'm going to do a more avant-garde kind of look like she kind of does. So, I'm going to do the, um the basic one first and so I'm going to take basic truth right here or basic basic truth right here which is basic bitch in um English but in Dutch it is basic truth so we are just going to take a blending brush this is not actually have it does not actually have blue on it it just um is stained blue so this is literally the color of that base. So I guess it will just work as a transition shade. I do remember her saying that it was like similar to her skin tone. So I guess we will just set this whole area. I usually don't set my eyeshadow anymore. I used to, but I don't usually anymore. But that is okay. We will do that today. Just with my buff mirror. Did you catch that though? And then we're gonna take this shade Mila right here. And then directly after that, we're gonna take 5 a.m. Was that what that says? Yeah, 5 a.m. So we're gonna take Mila first and just start dusting that in. And I'm really pushing that into the crease. And then I'm going to drag it a little bit upwards as well. Sorry, the mirror is down here. So if you see me glancing a little bit down here, that would be why. I don't know how people do YouTube and like look straight at the camera the whole time. I am trying to figure it out, though. I will tell you that. I'm trying to figure my life out. Okay. How have you guys been? I know I have been... I uploaded some random stuff, or like moving vlogs and stuff, but um, I'm settling into my place really nicely. This is my little gallery wall back here. Um, It goes up higher, but... You can only see that portion right now, but 
It looks pretty cute and I like it. So yeah, I just have my room pretty much almost all the way set up. Um, I would like a tapestry or something like right here on this wall behind the bed. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. So I'm just softly blending that in. I'm going to want this to be a very soft glam kind of, but very glamorous still. So there's still some depth to it here in a minute, which we will add with that 5am shade. So on a little bit smaller of a brush, we are going to take 5am, which is that deeper brown that I was showing you guys. And we're going to take that into the corner. And then we're really going to focus that on the lower part of the crease. And really get it in there. And it feels so weird to be filming a tutorial. I have not done one in so long, long. Or a review. It's not really a tutorial. It's more of a review. But you get it. I'm just blending that in circular motions and just kind of blending it upward to mix it with that um, Miele shade. there I brought it up a little bit higher than I would like to but I honestly was thinking about bringing it up a little bit higher anyways because I felt like it was a little bit low so I guess that just made my decision for me So I'm just going to work on this eye and we can finish this eye. So I'm just going to finish building up this 5am color a little bit. I wish there was like a color that was a little bit deeper than this. Just so we could get even a little bit more depth in here. But there isn't. That would be the one thing that I would have wished would be in here I guess. If I was, you know, asking for something but... You know that's okay and then we're gonna take Mila again and we're gonna go a little bit higher up this time and we're gonna start blending the edges it blends really well though so far these neutral shades should blend though like a dream because they're neutral I know they still are pressed pigments pigments but they should still blend really nicely so they're kind of looking a little washed out let me turn down my light a little bit for a minute so you can kind of really see what they're looking like that's more what they're looking like the colors but i'm going to turn the light back up so i can see and then at the end we can kind of really go through and you can see a little bit better but now we're going to go into some shimmers so i think i'm going to take this all in shade right here oh actually i think i'm going to take mr tutorials and i'm going to put that on like the two-thirds like the middle two-thirds of my eye or my middle third of my eye and then I'm going to take this one and put all in in my inner third of my eye okay does that make sense I think I did an okay job describing that they feel very buttery and very soft and nice so that's good so I kind of just pat and then I kind of take it over. Very, very pretty color. Then I'm going to go into that all in shade right next to it. This one is super, super soft, like almost too soft. The all in shade is another level another level I'm just gonna pack that a little bit over 
Mr. Tutorials too, so it just really packs a punch there. Then we're gonna take even a little bit more just to see if we can build the shimmer up even more, which we totally can. This is amazing. The shimmer looks absolutely outstanding like it really really does see that that's beautiful okay so let's clean up this eye a little bit and then I'm gonna take some more of that 5am color again which was the, that dark brown and I'm just going to blend the shimmer shades again. These are powdery and they will give you some kickback, but that's not something I don't I don't get butthurt about that. I don't care that much about it. Um if they give good pigment. It's not something I complain about at all. But it is something to note, just in case you do care about that, but I don't really think you should, but... Dang, I keep trying to blend this edge and, like, this brush is a little bit too big, but that's... That's on me for not having more clean brushes. Really getting down here and just ever so slightly blending that brown. And then going in and redoing some of that glittery color. And it is a very duochrome shade. So I will turn this down again. I know this is like weird how I keep doing this. You see how it's kind of duochrome and it like switches a little bit? Let's see if like a different light color. See, that's kind of different. But yeah, so I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to finish this other eye and then I'm going to do my face and put some lashes on and then we will show you the neutral look and then we will go in and do the colorful look. Okay. Back. Back and I'm done. Back and I'm done. Back and I'm done. Back on, done, back on, done. That is how the neutral eye turned out. It's dark outside, as you can see. I took my time getting glam, so then I put my hair up in little space. Do dads. So you can tell that I took my time getting glam because I just wanted to, um, Take some cute pictures after this, so can you blame me? Can you blame me? But that is the finished eye. And it was super easy to blend and everything, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think it looks cute. Um, we have to do the fun colors. I don't think I'm going to do it tonight, just because I don't really feel like doing it tonight, because it's already like 9 o'clock. And I just don't want to do it if I don't really feel like it. Um, so I think I might do it the rest tomorrow. And so I'm just like re-energized and have my creative juices flowing, you know. I want to have them flowing. <laughs> I'll stop saying flowing now. But yeah. Uh, sorry, my dog is drinking water and it's really loud. But anyways, um, finished natural look with the Nikki Tutorials palette. I will show you the five shadows that I used again real quick. Um, I used the basic toot, Truth one, and then I used Mila, and then I used 5AM, and then I used Mr. Tutorials and All In. 
So tomorrow we will use like more of the fun colorful shades. But yeah, that was it for this time. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, welcome back to day two, look number two. We have a Nikki tutorial palette. Um, so first, before we even get started, I'm going to put, cause I do have my face makeup on first today. Um, I just wanted to do it this way. I never do it this way, but I wanted to today. So I'm just going to put some powder underneath my eyes to catch some fallout if there is any. So it doesn't disturb my face. And today we're doing a more colorful look too. So now that I have the powder underneath the eyes, we are going to prime the eyes with the P. Louise base. Um, again, I'm using this in 0.5, Rumor. And I'm just taking like the ittiest, bittiest amount and I'm just going to apply this to the eye. And I blend the rest of it out with um, my sponge. So I will just flip the sponge over, kind of squeeze it together and then just blend it out so that it's pretty seamless. Okay, so I am not really sure. Um, I'm thinking I want to go in with um, Blend and Snap, the pink, then Mackay, which is the red, and Slasher. And I think I want that to be like in the crease in the outer V. I want this on the bottom lash line Amsterdam and then I want probably this in the inner corner and then some fun glitter shades on the lid so I want to utilize as many shades as I can without making it look like a messy look so we're first gonna go in with let's go in with Makai first. Ma Makai. That's her brother's name, which he passed away. Um, I remember when she said that he passed away. Um, and so she named the red shade after him, which is really nice and really sweet. So I'm just going to start building that up right here. I'm probably just going to do one eye on camera and then do the other eye off camera just so we can really be paying attention to what is going on. This shade is so pigmented right off the bat. Such a pigmented color right off the bat. So I'm going to build it up right in the outer half of the crease like that. Then I'm going to take Blend and Snap, which is the pink color, and I'm going to take that and then I'm going to blend the red together with the pink. And make sure that you're packing that on too. So you see how I do like a little packing motion first? You want to do that first and then blend. So we lost a little bit of the red, so we're just going to go back into Makai. blend that over and then ever so slightly blend up just a little bit just to get the blend really good there's a hair oh there's a hair it's from my head but still that's quite annoying I actually straightened my hair today so that's a plus then I'm going to take a little bit of pink and I'm just going to bring up the blend just a little bit on that too so that is where we're at right now. Then I'm going to take like a somewhat flat brush, but it's still pretty thick. 
and I'm gonna dip into Slasher, which is that purple, purple maroon shade. And I'm gonna start building that up in the outer V. And bring it out just a little. So we have some depth out there. I'm gonna make it kind of like this shape right here. So it like wings up a little bit. This part does have some fallout, as you can see. The powder should catch that. Um, I'm hoping when I dust it off it is caught. Bring it in a little bit. See how that kind of blends? Then I'm going to take some more of the Makai shade. Mikai. That's how you say it. Mikai, not Makai. Mikai shade. I'm going to take that into Blend and Snap a little bit too. Blend and, blend and Snap. Yeah, that's what it's called. And then that's kind of what the blend is like. I'm going to blend a little bit more with the purpley shade just so we don't have any harsh line right there. Because I want the lines to be very seamless. So now let's do... Hmm... Let's do a cut crease, which I have to bend over and get um, concealer real quick. Judge me if you have to. I don't really care. And I'm just gonna use this. Oh, actually, I want to use that for something later. I'm just gonna use. options just kidding I don't have very many options for brushes because I need to clean mine so that's why I'm struggling a little bit so I'm just gonna use this packer brush and cut the crease I'm not gonna cut the crease the whole way. I'm just gonna cut the crease um, halfway, like usual. I usually do that in my like daily routine, usually. So I'll cut it to like where that purple is. And then I'll look up so it's really stamped in there. kind of makes the shape. I do have videos where I just slow the cut crease process down a little bit and show you how to do it but once you get to know how to do it it's very very easy so that are barking next door which I'm surprised my dog isn't barking then but he's not he's just sitting behind me okay so there is it cut out now I'm going to take the colors that I'm going to choose today are Pride and Ivy. So Pride is down here, it's like a pink duo chrome, and then Ivy up here. So those are the two that I am choosing today. So, oh sorry, I'm gonna take Pride and I'm going to put this on, that's so pretty. 
I'm gonna take pride and I'm gonna put that on like most of the eye over here too. Bring it over there. See how pretty that is? It really is actually beautiful. That's really pretty. I'm gonna build it up just a little bit, even though it doesn't really necessarily need it. I just am extra and want to do that a little bit. So now I'm gonna take Ivy, which is like that whitish shade. And I'm going to take that and start building that right here. And that gives it a really good like gradient look sorry i am having the burps for some reason so that is super pretty super super pretty okay so let's take some powder on a brush let's take one of these brushes take some powder Oh, it's kind of not dusting away that great. See how much red got on my freaking brush? Oh my goodness. That's kind of, I hate doing my face makeup before my eyes, but like, I used to say I just wanted to get the um, face out of the way. So there's kind of like a pink situation happening all over my face now, which is really, really scary. It makes me really super happy. But I'll sort that out after. Um, so now I'm going to, um, where did my P. Louise base go? right here so I'm going to take some of this base I'm just gonna put it right there on the lower lash line so that the blue has something to stick to and it's just not going in, you know, without anything to stick to because that would not be very fair. So now I'm going in with Amsterdam, that blue. Taking a really little brush, but you can use whatever you want. I just have more control over this little brush, so I like to use it. And then I'm going to take this pencil brush right here, and I'm going to just buff it out a little bit. Just a little. Then I'll put a waterline liner in there too so it looks a little bit better. And then I'm going to go in with Mama Tutorials, which is this sparkly blue. And I'm going to bring that in on the lower lash line too. Give it a little pop of glitter.
Ugh, I got fallout from that one brush. Okay, so now I need to, I'm going to blend the edges of these a little bit first, and then I'm going to take the yellow and pop it right here. So right now I'm just going to make sure there's not like a harsh line right there where those two shades met. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the red, just a tiny bit. And blend that out a little bit. And then I'm going to take Blend and Snap, which is the pink. And blend that a little bit. And then I'm going to take the P. Louise base again. Just because I think that this will need something to stick to. And I'm just going to ever so slightly put a little bit on the corner of my eye just so it really has something to stick to so i'm going in it's called voila 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 It's a little bit more pastel than I was thinking it would be, which is not like a huge problem. It still brightens up the eye and everything. Um, I'm just going to try to build it up a little bit. Definitely looks more neon though, and it's definitely like more of a, just like pastel color, which is totally fine, like I said. But it's definitely, you definitely think it's a little bit different than what it comes out as. And then I'm going to take that blue shimmer shade again and just re-intensify because it did take some of that shimmery shade away. And then let's pop on a uh, color in the lower lash line, shall we? Why don't we do green? There's no green in this look, but I think that it will just really add something to it if we do do a green if we do do or should we do white let's do white let's do white because i just think that it will look really it will like pop Okay, so there's the waterline liner in. I'm going to go finish up this eye. Well, I haven't even started this eye, but I'm going to go do this eye. And then I will come back and we will talk over the palette and everything. We're back and I'm done. 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 This is how it turned out. It stained my face. So, and it's pigment, so I mean, I guess that's what, this is what my palette looks like after one use. So a little rough and powdery, but now it's like brand new, other than there's some major divots in these, um, shimmer shades now my review of the palette in general i like it i don't love it i like it i don't love it um i purposely did not use this blue on the top of my lid because i heard that it does not blend well um, I will test that just on my own and see because um, I would love to do a look like with the EO shade, the Amsterdam, the plot twist, and then Mama Tutorials. I think that would be really beautiful. 
So I am going to play with it some more. I'll probably play with it tomorrow as well. Um, but yeah. So uh, this is how the colorful look turned out. Um, let me turn it down the lights a little bit because it is more colorful. Um, as you can see, there's blue, there's yellow, pink, red, a little bit of purple. Um, like you can see the staining, but yeah. So that is pretty much my review. I like it. I don't love it as much as I thought I would, but that's just maybe I had too high of expectations and whatnot. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed it, the video and uh, like appreciated that I gave you my honest opinion still. Um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hold up.